Ayodeji Ogundare. Hello, everyone. Okay. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for these um, awesome events. But before I begin, um, how many of you have benefited one way or the other from open source? Kindly. Okay. So today's talk is just to take us through um, an alternate dimension, um, an alternate universe where open source doesn't exist. You know, there's a saying that you don't know what you have until you miss it. So uh, this is going to help us realize the importance of open source. And maybe after this talk, um, you will, just like Adora was saying, you will find all the open source contributors, all the GitHub stars, and squeeze 2K in their hands because you've now realized the importance of open source. Okay, so uh, my name is IODG, and uh, a little about me. I build, automate, and manage applications in the cloud. I'm a cloud developer. I build and manage developer communities. Um, I haven't been volunteered for, volunteering for Google, um, Codecademy, WordPress, and um, Polygon. I also contribute and preach open source Yes, I love food. I don't joke with my food. Yeah, so, um, yes, what is open source? I don't want to define this because day one, uh, day two, this is day two, you'd have known what open source is. So I won't, but open source in three words is just um, use, modify, and distribute. Those are the um, three key words in open source. Open source is free to use, and you can also modify and you can distribute. Those are the three keywords you need to know about open source. Yes, so, okay. All right, so we need to now do a simple exercise. Just pause for a while. Um, imagine yourself in a different dimension that there's no open source. Just pause for a while. Imagine there was no open source. So imagine there was no open source. Think about it. It's something that, okay, what about if there was nothing, nothing like open source? Um, you exist in another dimension that uh, the word open source doesn't exist. Okay, so after coming back from that terrible experience, um, yeah, so this alternate universe, just think of, okay, what about if I exist in a place where there is no open source. So imagine all these open source applications, open source projects doesn't exist. Linux doesn't exist. VLC doesn't exist. Python doesn't exist. Um, Firefox doesn't exist. PHP doesn't exist. Or Kubernetes or VS Code. Um, to be sincere, there will, there will be most tech bros and tech sys we have in our midst. Um, I'm sorry to say we will not have a life. Because... Um, Linux actually helped a lot of our very most prominent tech, um, tech movers to be what they, what, they, what they are. And also, VS Code, almost all of us have used VS Code. Almost all of us. And so many people have, and their lives have been changed by this open source project. Also, Python. If you're a developer, imagine there was no Python. So I'm um, going back to Linux. Just imagine there was no Linux. Uh, probably uh, so many Linux, um, uh, Linux, Linux supported applications like Android uh, would not have existed. So just imagine um, we have Apple um, as the big boys, big players, and Linux, uh, Android was built on uh, Linux kernel and it makes um, phone, smartphones, way cheaper. Um, you can just get a smartphone of maybe 40K and you're, also, you're a smartphone user. So open source made that happen. Android is an open source, um, uh, open source um, operating system. So all these open source projects would actually, imagine they don't exist. And that will help you realize more what, how important um, open source is. So open source is arguably the best thing that happened to the tech ecosystem. It's the best thing that happened to the tech ecosystem. You can take it anywhere. If there was no open source, there would not be Oscar Fests. If there was no open source, there would not be so many things 
So, yes, the earth is open. Yeah. Why I say this is that, why the earth is open to us is that you are giving, um, everybody's on this earth, and you are free to make your decision. You are free to craft your own life and send a pull request. Yes, so the earth is open source, open for everyone existing on this planet. So you are free to design your life the way you want, uh, make changes to your life, and make a pull request. All right. So now, what's next? Now that you've known what open source is and importance of open source, what do you do? The first thing is you learn. So you can go to opensource.guy to learn about open source. You learn about open source, it teaches you how to learn and how to contribute, how to contribute to open source. So you can find everything on that um, website. And also um, teaches you how to advocate for open source. So I'll go back to the website again, opensource.guide um, gives you all these resources on how to learn, on how to contribute, on how to advocate for open source. Yes, yeah, so I um, have op a, op an open source project I would like to introduce, open source gist. So uh, it's an open source project uh, we are kicking off soon. So if you're interested, it's called open source gist and um, there's gonna be a platform whereby um, open source projects would be highlighted, um, uh, open source work would be highlighted, any kind of open source contribution at all. So if you are interested, you can go through this link. Yes, yeah, so thank you.